Hello everyone, so I'm here again to do the next video in my requested list. So today I'm doing how the Life Path 9 can be supported by the expression number 8. Now the Life Path is the most important number in your chart. It's like the king of your chart and all the other numbers exist to support that Life Path. So think of your Life Path 9 as your king and your expression number 8 as your most loyal and effective effective advisor and um, carry out of um, tasks for the king life path nine now a quick overview the life path nine is very much about learning to take care of the welfare of other people to support other people to take care of the welfare of other people using integrity and filtering what you teach them through your intuitive wisdom. Your expression number eight is about, and your talent that you bring to support this, is about creating um, um, financial abundance and using that abundance as a tool to help other people with balanced personal power. So as a quick overview, the expression number eight can support the nine by using financial abundance to help the eight to develop towards looking care, looking care of, taking care of the well-being of others. But you won't be doing it in just a financial way, but you could use the expression eight to help you financially, to help you use that money as a tool to help others. But for your life path nine, you're going to need to develop further towards advising and teaching others. And the expression number eight has excellent teaching skills and excellent um, balanced personal power. So the eight has a lot to offer the life path nine to help the life path nine to thrive which is what it's here to do but there are some elements of the life of the expression eight that are not so helpful for the nine um but actually on balance there are not many elements of the life part of the expression number eight that, that doesn't in some way support your life path nine. So you do have a very good expression number to support your life path. So thank your parents for giving you the correct name which helps support your life path nine. So as I said, your life path nine is working on issues of integrity doing the right thing, ensuring that your intentions are good for the well-being and nurture and care of humanity. So the nine life path number can sometimes be at risk of being unethical at times, of thinking about themselves rather than others, and some really low-level life path nines are con artists. They make themselves out to be a caring person, but actually they're working for their own benefit. But that's a real low-level nine. So the nine is working with good intention, always acting with integrity for the well-being of others not just themselves you need to be an example to other people you can lead and teach by example and by influence but also by communicating you have you know you you need to develop towards not only leading and teaching people by example by using your um, spiritual knowledge and intuition but also communicating that intuitive wisdom to others to teach them. So you're very much a teacher, but a teacher that develops people, supports people and looks after their well-being. That's what you're working towards, you know, that you're working towards a very developed, very multifaceted number. But you're lucky that you have an eight expression number, which also gives you a lot of skill too. So the ability you bring with you to help you um, develop this nine life path is you're, you're, you're good first of all not so much in developing others but in creating financial abundance which is always useful in helping support you where, in whatever direction you want to take you can make things happen in business which again helps your life path nine because your life path nine is developing towards being more of an entrepreneur so the eight is going to be really useful bringing business skill to this life path um, competence and social skills that you'll need to be able to communicate your wisdom with others and you're an excellent leader um, you have balanced personal power which means you could lead people um, to make them listen to you so you can teach them your wisdom whether it's by example or whether you do it verbally on a stage or standing in front of people in a room you have the ability to catch people's attention which is going to be really useful for your life path nine 
without going into too much detail about the overview, what I need to do is to go into that detail. I often go on too much here. Um, I've broken the Life Path 9 down into 10 elements, you know, to really dig down into that Life Path and all the elements that need to be achieved. And next to each element of the Life Path 9 on the right hand side will be how that expression number helps or sometimes hinders, but with the expression 8 mostly helps your Life Path 9. So let's get started on the details. So you're here to follow, you're here to learn, to follow your intuitive wisdom, to live to spiritual laws rather than worldly laws. I'm not saying to break the law, but what I'm saying is focus more on, on spiritual law and, and uh, spiritual wisdom more than you do the laws of, and ideals of the world. Um, because the, the Life Path 9 does tend to focus a bit too much on laws and um, um, unreachable ideas and ideals, uh, prejudices, some, some minds could even be a little bit bigoted at times. Um, but what the mind needs to do is to develop towards following their intuition. Because when a nine follows their intuition, they're less likely, well, they're not going to be bigoted. And they're, they're, they're certainly going to be able to um, understand and um, emulate spiritual laws better in the world which is what the nine is here to do so you're here to develop towards following your intuitive spiritual wisdom and using your intuition rather than logical worldly laws and ideals to guide the decisions you make and the actions you take for example it, would you have done that particular thing to that person or for that person if you had followed your intuition if you sit, if you look deep down in your soul would that be something that your intuition and your inner soul would have agreed with that's what you need to learn to do it to develop towards doing and be more spiritual focus on the faith rather than the the logic that is in front of you rather than what is thrown to you in the world you need to look beyond what the world throws at you and look to the spiritual wisdom beyond it um, and your eight talent at energy you have this mix of practical and um, practical and worldly and spiritual ability spiritual intuitive ability so the eight has a balance of, of, of both of these you, you can build in the real world you can um, achieve in the real world but you can also use your spiritual ability to help guide that practice in your life that's your talent in the expression eight you know your eight talent energy has practical worldly abundance building ability but you're also spiritual and intuitive and you have those skills equally that you can use whenever you want the, the issue here is knowing when to use it and when when to use which side of your nature because you you can use both um, you're able to access your spiritual wisdom however the a energy it does tend to focus on the logic and the worldly abundance building side um, because that's what the the a energy is really here to do um, so to support your more spiritual life path nine, turn your attention a little bit more towards that spiritual side of your nature. Have more faith in that inner voice within you, that gut feeling, that intuition that tells you something's just not right or something's amazing. Um, feelings and emotions, they're all signposts of your intuition. And you have intuitive ability in the eight. Use and develop that intuitive ability to help you um, achieve this part of your life path nine it needs to be intuitive you know it needs to be spiritual you need to turn away a bit from the worldly here and really use your spiritual ability look inside yourself it's really important you're also here to learn to act with good faith with good intention with integrity for the benefit of others not just for yourself um, you're powerful very powerful and because you're powerful you've got to use that panel power for the benefit of others great power brings great responsibility and if you act for selfish or nefarious reasons you can leave a wake of destruction behind you and that can be the weakness of a nine um, sometimes they can act selfishly and sometimes even nefariously and often run away from the consequences of their actions as well um, but you need to you're here to develop towards acting with more integrity 
your, the good thing for you here is the eight talent energy you have in the expression number um, is incredibly ethical. The eight energy is known for its ethics and you always do the right thing with that eight energy. So that's going to be amazing for you as a nine to help you make sure that you always do the right thing for others. Whatever you do, your intentions are good for yourself and everyone else around you. So support your life path nine by ensuring that all of your actions are led by your innate deep ethics and integrity to support that life path nine. You're here to learn, to lead by example, to act out, to live by your spiritual laws and wisdom that you preach, to teach others, to teach others by experience and by watching you. Um, as well as by listening to you talk to them verbally. Um, you know, you need to lead by example. Um, practice what you preach so that people can learn from you and actually see that you do live by your wisdom. Um, you can be quite domineering. Um, an advisor with all the answers, the fixer, which means you can take over other people's lives sometimes. It's what the nine sort of tends to do a little bit. But, you know, the nine needs to allow other people to make their own mistakes and avoid, uh, well, you know, disregarding other people's path. We all have difficulties to face and we need to face those difficulties and learn by them. And the, the nine can sometimes overstep the mark and try and fix everything for you, which is not the reason why we're here. And it doesn't respect the person's life path whatsoever. So the nine needs to know when to stay, step back, really, and let other people make their own mistakes. Um, so your eight talent makes you exemplary leader. An exemplary leader, you lead with your competence, intelligence, rationality, charisma, and your ethics and integrity. You intuitively know with that eight intuition when to confidently assert your dominance and when to step back and allow others to act. You know, when to step in, when to step back, you know, that's something the eight has an innate ability if you use it, remember. So support your life path nine by manifesting your eight energy. Um, into ethical leadership that influences but does not control other people. Okay, very important that it doesn't go overboard and control other people. They've got to learn their own lessons in life. You're here to make your life your teaching. It's like being that influencer, not just by the words you say, but by, by how you live your life. You know, I live my life this way because it links back to the spiritual wisdom of, or the spiritual law of. I behave in this way because it's the spiritual law of. You know, that's how the nine needs, to, what the nine needs to do to develop themselves is to learn spiritual law and then live that law to teach the people around them, to teach and counsel with wisdom. Um, uh, the nine, you're working towards a very developed soul because it's all the numbers all together. So you need to be quite multifaceted, multi-talented and flexible. And there isn't much you can't turn your hand to. You know, you're, you're, you're full of cellular knowledge. It's quite a, a developed soul. So you have to be quite a fairly old soul to have the nine life path, you know. So... Um, You've got lots of, what can I say, lots to develop really in the life path nine. But again, you're very lucky to have the eight because it makes you that natural teacher, that charismatic and confident person when you use it. The eight can also be um, very unconfident if they allow themselves to be. But because it's your expression number, you're much more likely when you're in the positive, especially to be that te that charismatic, confident teacher that everybody listens to. What is this? I thought I'd stopped pop ups on my videos. There's always one, isn't there? Um, so you are that natural, natural teacher, charismatic, confident, you know, able to counsel with logical ethics and your intuitive wisdom. So you can look at both sides of the coin. So support that life path nine by channeling your intuitive ideas from that eight talent energy um, and then manifesting them in the real world by living by them and teaching them to other people by example. Very, very important for the nine's development that they influence and teach by example as well as communication you're here to learn to be a humanitarian remember it's all about the well-being of other people when you're developing towards that nine um, the, the eight is about making money and being successful in the world and using that as a tool to help others 
And the nine is about well-being and spiritual knowledge and using that to uplift and inspire others on a very, very deep spiritual level. So you're here to be that humanitarian, to make the world a better place. A global consciousness is what is needed here. Um, and your, your eight talent energy makes you able to build the financial abundance needed to be that humanitarian um, not just in action, but also in you using your money to fund and invest in things that will help people if from distant lands as well as people close in big and very small way. <laughs> small, very big and very small ways and medium and like a little bit this size and okay, shut up. Um, and use that abundance as a tool to improve the lives of other people. Um, so support that life path nine by using your eight business and leadership ability and ability to build financial wealth and then use that abundance as a tool to help the world. But also not just it's not just about helping the world in a, a material way like the expression number eight can do. You're also making sure that you're developing towards spiritual support as well as financial. So the eight really focuses on practical or financial support. And in this lifetime, you need to tip more towards using your abundance to help other people. But it needs to be more spiritual teaching and helping people in more of a spiritual and emotional way, as well as you can also use your um, worldly abundance to help support that. But your development here in the expression talent A is to work towards in the life path nine to be more of a hands-on humanitarian, not just the financer of the humanitarian. Uh, I think I finished that one. Yes, I do go on a bit. So you're here to learn to take responsibility as well. The nine really does. It's a very powerful number. You've got a lot of ability, a lot of potential, and uh, you make powerful choices, and the consequences of your choices can be quite so you need to be responsible with that and sometimes as i said earlier the nine can be um, um can run away from the consequences of their actions quite a lot excuse me oh dear um but your eight talent energy will help you with that again because it makes you an action person but an ethically active person very ethical very responsible and you'll take action for your ethics and your responsibility every time you will own up you'll step up and make it right so if you you do something wrong you're the ethical eight that will step up own up and make the situation right again when you make errors and damaging decisions i mean we all do it nobody's perfect but with the eight talent you have to help your nine life path the ability to step up take action and sort the situation out you know but you've got to use it you can push that away you have free will but when you really really listen to the ethics inside you and the talents that you have within you you will act in a very responsible and ethical way which can do nothing but um, be amazing to help you support your life path nine you must develop towards being that successful entrepreneur i was talking about at the beginning the businessman um but it's got to be something that you feel passionate about as an entrepreneur. You'd never stick with something that is just about making money. And the expression eight is really about making money. So you need in a big picture on this slide, really, to make sure your work is more passionate as part of your development. Your, your expression number eight will help you to earn the money as a successful entrepreneur. And your expression number eight will give you the business ability to help you earn that abundance to be a successful entrepreneur but the eight won't necessarily it may do won't necessarily push you to do something that you're passionate about because the eight tends to be financially and practically motivated so big picture here for this slide make sure that the business that you get yourself involved in as a life path nine is something that you feel passionately close to okay make it not just about the money OK, really important. So let's look at the detail on this slide now here. You're here to be that successful entrepreneur, but something you feel passionate about. Now, this is something you're working towards, so it's not necessarily going to be easy. Um, you need to ensure that you're choosing work that has meaning for you. 
Um, you're a powerful force for change. So if you choose something that is that has a lot of meaning for you, you're more likely to be powerful in your positive actions. So your eight talent energy makes you excellent in the practical business, as I said before. Excellent at logical intuition and action and leadership. So to support that life path nine, use your passions, very important, and spiritual intuition from the eight as the basis of your business and your strategic business decisions. But you know, first and foremost here, it's your intuition to help you make those decisions, but ensuring that what you're creating your business around is something that you feel very strongly and passionate about. It's quite important, well, very important for the Life Path 9 that you do that. Um, you're here to develop excellent social skills, charisma. Um, you need to be, you're not just teaching by example or influence, you're teaching as a speaker. People listen to you. you. You speak with charisma. That's what you're working towards. You're working towards being that charismatic speaker, influencer of others that everybody looks towards and hangs on your word. Now, you have the potential to do this because otherwise it wouldn't be your life path. But it's going to be something that you may struggle with at first. You may struggle with it your whole life, but it is part of your path to develop. Um, but again, that eight talent energy is going to give you a little bit of extra boot here because you have natural confidence in the eight talent energy, charisma, you're competent, expressive, you can speak to people with emotion, you have the ability to absorb others and influence them and use this ability, you can use this ability to support that life path nine, your, your eight expression gives you so much ability to help you be the, the best life path nine you can be. So use your natural confidence. I mean, it's only going to be useful if you use it, remember. Use your natural confidence and charisma and competence within the eight energy to support your confidence when speaking with others. And that will really shine your charisma out and support that life path nine when you're sharing your spiritual wisdom to others for their own well-being. You're here to look after the well-being of others, as I keep saying. That's what you're here to develop towards. The thing is, you, you like to look after other people and be there for other people. It makes you a bit of a fixer at times. But when you're in trouble or in need, you often fail to ask for help because you feel that it's weak to ask for help or you think that you should be the fixer, you shouldn't need any help. Um, but it's, you know, the nine needs to work towards asking for what they need to and not just trying to deal with everything on their own. You know, we're all interdependent. We're all here to help each other. So your life path nine needs you to be more interdependent. Look after others, but also, I mean, you look after others for your nine life path. That's what you're here to do. But you also need to let others help you too and let down that guard of strength because it makes you a stronger person to ask for help, you know. So your, your A talent energy makes you extremely hardworking um, for your success. You, 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 you're an achiever at the end of the day in your expression number eight, and you work for the success of other people. Um, you're more than able to get what you want from other people in a compassionate, ethical manner because of the, the talent you have for communication with others. You may be at risk of working a little bit too hard at times. The, the expression eight um, or the, the energy of the eight and the four is notorious for workaholism and the 22. So you need to be careful that you keep your work ba work life balance in check. Um, but support that life path nine by developing a mindset of interdependence. We're here to help each other. Okay, no one's weak for asking for help. Um, give and receive in a balanced manner. We all need each other. So don't just be the fixer that fixes everyone else's life. Accept health too. Help, help too in an interconnected way. It will help you become less arrogant and having that feeling that you're the fixer. Um, and we all need each other. No one can fix everything. And sometimes even the fixer needs help. And it will help you to feel more balanced and less arrogant, which you, the Life Path 9 can be at times. You're here to wrap things up and let go. The 9 notoriously struggles to let things go. Um, you can even develop towards like having a victim mentality, holding on to feelings that no longer serve you. Um, and then you, it ends up being a self-limiting belief because you, you, you end up being unable to move on because of this perceived injustice. And it's normally rooted in family and your past. And 
you know, this this holding yourself back because of past issues is something that the Life Path 9 really needs to work past. It's a notorious difficulty of a Life Path 9 to be able to let go, surrender and move on when things have happened within their life. You know, you, you hold on to a victim mentality and you, you need to learn to move on from your perceived injustice from the past. So your eight talent energy has high ethics. And sometimes you, these high ethics can cause you, when you're feeling low, to resent those that you perceive to be as unethical or not following ethics. So sometimes you can let yourself get quite upset or resent resentful of those that don't follow the ethics that you think is important to follow that we all think is important to follow but your inner knowledge your eight emotional control and that aura that you have a balanced personal power respect um that you just that just comes out of your aura you know ensures that you're able to to confidently battle bad ethics calmly and appropriately when you use it you know because the nine life path you have the potential to be quite an emotional soul and your expression um in the eight will help control that emotionality and help you act more calmly and appropriately and to help you move on from perceived injustices from the past you know support your life path nine by moving on from injustice with more of an ethical, compassionate action that make a positive difference. Because at the end of the day, everything we go through in this lifetime is a lesson, both good and bad. And haven't you noticed that when we go through the worst adversity, we learn the most? So I need you as a Life Path 9 to, to pick out all these situations from the past that are holding you back and making you feel like a victim and really analyze them what is the lesson that you ha that i have to learn within this perceived injustice how could i learn the lesson how could i have contributed maybe not always but sometimes injustices that you feel are against you are actually something that you contributed to okay not all the time though so you please i'm not making any accusations so look at these this perceived injustice with more of a rational eye you know what lessons could i learn from this previous perceived injustice and did i have a hand in this perceived injustice do i need to reconcile and learn lessons from this injustice and then move on and get on with my life that is a really important thing for any life path nine to do so let's look a little bit um brushing on the the types of life path here now it really does depend on depend on what type of expression number you are as well but for the purposes of this slide i'm just doing the eight energy which is the main one i mean you could be a two six eight you could be a one seven eight um but for the purposes of this so i don't have to go into too much detail um these are the life paths and how the eight in general can help them and as you know from looking at the nine energy the eight is very helpful but when you look at the sub lessons the one eight nine is going to be the most lucky here because the talent of the eight energy is your most important sub lesson you're you're here to learn the secrets of financial abundance and your expression number eight gives you the talent to earn financial abundance you might just need to work a little bit harder at being innovative because the eight tends to work on practicalities and uh, making money in the world so the innovation that you need for the 189 life path will be something that you're going to need to work on but you've got that, that spiritual ability in the eight expression number that is going to help you with spiritual practice to help you learn to channel those innovative ideas that you need for your 189 life path the 279 needs you to be very very spiritual because of that seven number very much about intuition and using that intuition and working alongside others so the 279 needs to be the best nine they can be by trusting the soul within them and in the process of their life feeling safe enough to share their wisdom with others and the eight expression number has spiritual ability and intuitive ability to help the seven energy to trust the soul within them um the double the, the double two energy here also the expression number eight has social skills very good 
charismatic social skills that will help to support that two number. So the spirituality and the cooperation that the 279 needs to be the best nine life path they can be is something that is accessible with the eight expression because the eight expression has spiritual ability, intuition and amazing charismatic social skills that can all be drawn upon to help a 279 be the best person they can be. The 369, similar, really. I mean, there's going to be a bit of an issue with that. The express, oh, no. Actually, the more I think about this, you've got the 369. Now, the 6 tends to be quite idealistic and can sometimes take their ideals a bit too far and let it make them miserable for, you know, for many, many reasons. Because they, you know, the 6 energy, you know, is something where you need to get past those ideals so that you don't end up... Um, feeling low or being disappointed that people haven't matched up to your ideals because that could make you really low the expression eight is a very very realistic grounding number so the eight can help the six in a three six nine to look past their ideals and reconcile those ideals with reality and the, the the ability to charismatically communicate in the expression number eight is going to support that three energy that is about developing emotional expression so when it comes to reconciling your ideals with reality and being able to express yourself to an audience the expression number eight again is going to be a very useful tool to help you develop that ability and even in the 459, the 459 is that five energy most importantly. And it's you need to stay focused with the five energy, disciplined, focused on your goals and attain, attain mastery and freedom through discipline. Well, the eight expression is great at, at discipline and learning and focusing and has great ability to help feed into this discipline and focus you need if you're a 459. And again, with the four, you've got even more need to be focused on your goals because the four and the five are very focused and disciplined so you need so much focus and discipline when you're a four five nine it can sometimes be quite overwhelming the five needs you to be disciplined with your goals and your four needs you to achieve your goals meticulously so that's meticulous focus and discipline on your goals moving forward which can make you really 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 you really need to have it's i can't even explain it but what i am going to say is the expression number eight has got that get up and go to achieve you know the, the expression number eight can focus they're disciplined and they can help help any four five nine that expression number eight to achieve and be the best nine they can be so this is a good expression number for a life path nine now i hope you found my video really useful today if you haven't subscribed please subscribe click that bell icon and click all so that you'll hear all my updates and if you like my video please smash that like button it really helps me to know that my content is good leave leave questions leave um anything you want to say to me i love listening to all your your questions and that and you can request videos in the, on, in the descriptions of my videos you can request any video that i haven't done that you would like um, and if you want to read in with me please email me katie at soulexplorer.net or contact me through facebook instagram linkedin or twitter i'm going to put that in the description box for you so if you're looking for a reading of your life purpose and everything that surrounds it to give you some direction in life and and some spiritual uh, purpose and know what your talents are then contact me through social media or email and if you want to learn about you to me i always do that if you want to learn about numerology click on the link to my udemy course that i'm also going to put in the description box and it will give you a good thorough knowledge and grounding of all the number energies and how they fit into your numerology chart if you're looking to be a practitioner yourself as ever, guys, I want you to trust the soul within you because only you know what is best for you.